Did you tell your girlfriend's parents that you were a real estate mogul when you actually worked at Burger King and now you're in over your head because they asked you to dinner and your pre-2000s beater just isn't very convincing? Well, lucky for you, we got a list of eight cheap luxury cars that look super expensive. And one of the cars on this list is under nine grand and looks 10 times more expensive. And another is a freaking Maserati. Do I need to say more? So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell and buckle up because these are eight cheap luxury cars that are gonna make you look like you have a ton of dough. Let's go. If you're trying to give your neighbors the impression that you just moved into town from Beverly Hills and you may or may not have starred on a reality TV show or just been a presenter here at Ideal, well then the first generation Range Rover Sport known as the L320 is a great way to go. This car, well, it's an SUV, is the staple in celebrity circles. With famous folks like Ice Cube, Justin Bieber, and even Kim Kardashian all have been known owners of this luxury SUV. And while the exterior of this rig obviously sends a message that you're sitting on stacks of cash, it is just as impressive inside. Pop the door and it has a first rate interior. And when you're driving this puppy, it will have performance figures that will blow you away. Now the Sport comes standard with a big old naturally aspirated V8. But if you're looking for a little bit more oof, well then you can get it supercharged with 510 ponies. And usually on the used market, that's only gonna cost you a little bit more dough. And having driven one of these extensively, it handles impressively for its size. Although because it's so heavy, it does go through brakes pretty quickly. And if you don't mind getting that pristine paint job a little bit dirty, this beast can take on rocky terrain all day. And with adjustable ground clearance because of that air ride, I'm not gonna lie, this is the perfect mall crawler. But be very aware. Although the L320 Range Rover Sport seems like an incredibly awesome deal, like this one that we found on Auto Tempest for just under 7,000 bucks, and heck, it's got less than 150,000 miles on it. But if you were to buy that one or really any L320, you'll wanna get a pre-purchase inspection because when things go wrong, they go really wrong. But if you buy one of these, you're gonna fool all your friends and your girlfriend's parents into thinking that you're rich and you don't just flip burgers for a living. The only issue is that the sport might leave you, well, bankrupt on repairs. And so down in the description below, I've linked to all of my favorite cars on this list that I found on Auto Tempest. So go down into the description or the first comment and check them out because you never know, there might be an ideal car, truck, or SUV that tickles your fancy. Like this next car that is a little bit more sporty, although it doesn't have the word sport in its name, but it definitely is a sports car from Germany and has some of the best styling in the past couple of decades. And oh yeah, it's a convertible. And yes, while the 911 has been the prize fighter in Porsche's lineup for a very long time and a model that I love so much that I don't own just one, but two, like kind of crappy ones, but at least I own two, you know, it's better than one really nice one, I think. But I'm really glad that Porsche introduced the Boxster. And back in the late 90s, it brought a new era of affordable sports cars from the German automaker. And while I definitely won't say that the Boxster competes directly with the quality offered in the 911, or the racing pedigree, or the values, meaning, you know, the cars are appreciating. The Boxster is something pretty special because the 987 generation, the second generation of Boxster, not only looks sweet, but is extremely fun to drive and it offers a compact mid-engine layout which gives it handling that's superior to pretty much any other vehicle at its price point and plus the heartbeat that flat six pushing out roughly 240 horsepower is a whole lot of fun and if you're looking for a wee bit more power to match that sports car style well then you can upgrade to the s trim and that'll boost power to roughly 280 ponies and also give you a little bit bigger wheels some suspension and brake enhancements and probably a little bit more fun but unfortunately it'll also cost you a little bit more. So whichever flavor that you choose, you really can't go wrong base or S. Both early versions of the 987 came with two seats and are lined with excellent interior quality that we've come to expect from Porsche. And plus, if you wanna go topless, it's got that powered convertible top. So you can cruise on those sunny days down the coastline with or without your top on. And on Auto Tempest, we found this 2006 base with just under 100,000 miles for 13K. And remember, this is a new looking Boxster. And for that price, you're not gonna find any car with that much style and a Porsche badge on it. But if you're somebody that needs an Italian stallion, well then there's nowhere else to look than from the manufacturer Maserati. And although I really like the Porsche Boxster, I also really like this next car. Like, 
a lot. And I will be the first to say that if you buy a Maserati Gran Turismo, you're probably gonna have some issues, but it actually isn't that unreliable. Yes, the internet, when they get their hands on something like the IMS RMS issue with the Porsche Boxster and 911, or the throttle control actuator and rod bearing issue with the E92 M3, or if you're just talking about a cheap Italian super de duper car, you will be able to read horror story after horror story on the internet. But believe it or not, the Gran Turismo isn't really that bad, especially if you find a good independent repair professional to take care of you. And quite honestly, Maserati hit a home run with the Gran Turismo when it comes to the looks department. The design language on this thing is absolutely second to none. And when you roll up and your friends see that Trident on the hood, and when you fire up that 405 horsepower 4.2 liter V8, yeah, they're gonna think you got some serious dough. You and your neighbors are gonna hear some of the best sounding symphonies you've ever heard. And plus it's a GT car. So the ride is extremely smooth until you switch to sport mode. And that's when you're gonna feel like an absolute boss with super quick throttle responses and tight gear changes. And plus, if you wanna spend a little bit more money, okay, a lot more money, these things wide bodied look stellar. Just look at that thing. One of the best looking vehicles of all time. And you can pick these things up for less than a new Toyota Camry. Check out this one with 40,000 miles on it for under 22 grand. While the base price of a new Toyota Camry is over 24,000 bucks. And trust me, when you're riding around in your Maserati Gran Turismo, you're gonna feel like you're riding around in a vehicle that costs well into the six figures. And definitely is my ideal pick up until this point. And if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, because it would be awesome if we could get this video to 19,783 likes. Because the next car on this list, huh, it's a sleek looking sedan that's long and strong and may fit into your budget if you don't wanna shell out 20,000 bucks for the Maserati GT. Yeah, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class has a long-standing history of excellence that stretches all the way back to 1972. And the 2013 S550 is true to tradition. This flagship sedan will turn heads left and right as you drive along and show off its gorgeous exterior. And with its long wheelbase, you're basically over halfway to a limousine. Plus with the impeccable interior quality and quiet ride, you're gonna feel like a millionaire inside this Mercedes. And guess what? It can be had for less than 15,000 bucks, which is an absolute steal when you consider it has a panoramic sunroof, a two screen entertainment system in the back. You can get it with optional massage seats and a dash display that's among the best in its class for that year. And that suspension gives the S550 just enough separation from the road. And it's the perfect blend of being able to feel the turns without any of that rattling tin can feeling. And for just 14 grand, here's a 2013 S550 on Auto Tempest with just north of 100,000 miles, which is pretty much the pinnacle of luxury at a bargain basement price. And up next, we got a luxury sedan from the domestic market that brings some top quality luxury and some considerable power for a super affordable price. And the Cadillac CTS is just about everything that you could ever possibly want in a car for under 10,000 bucks. It looks great, it's refined, fun to drive, powerful, and features a beautifully luxurious interior. And that body style, mm, it's made up of crisp lines that gives the CTS an aggressive yet graceful look. And the chassis was among the best of any car back in the day. And there really is an uncanny amount of cargo space in this luxury sedan. Now it did come with a 270 horsepower V6, which isn't bad, but it definitely struggles with the weight of the CTS. However, you could upgrade to the 304 horsepower V6, which is your golden ticket for peppy performance and refinement. And it's definitely worth it, even if it's gonna cost you a little bit more money. And of course, if you're looking to dust a few supercars and turn a lot of heads, you can get the V trim with 556 blown horsepower. But uh, good luck trying to find any of those for under 15,000 bucks. But if your budget will allow, that is definitely an ideal car that you should use the ideal car strategies on to buy like a pro. Or you could buy this 2011 base CTS with slightly over 100,000 miles on it for under 10 grand, which is not a bad price considering that this is such a great tried and true platform. But if we're gonna talk about expensive looking cars that you can buy for the low, well, you gotta include BMW on your list, right? Those crazy Germans just keep giving us more and more affordable luxury and reliability. And when it comes to options, the BMW 3 Series is like a menu at the Cheesecake Factory. Just goes on and on and on, and then could I substitute this for that? Yeah, why not? Ugh. And have you ever had their cheesecake? It's kind of like a BMW M3, but oh, it's just the cherry on top of the 3 Series. But anyway, today we're talking about the normal 3 Series. And you can get it in either a sedan, a wagon, a coupe, 
or a convertible. And you could get it with a regular six cylinder, a badass diesel, or your choice of not one, but two turbocharged six cylinders. And they're all very impressive engines. So there's a reason why the three series has been popular for so long. And the E90 328i comes with a three liter six cylinder mated to either a six speed manual or six speed automatic. And uh, I think you know which one I'd go with. Save the manuals our best-selling tee. But regardless of transmission, you're looking at 230 horsepower and a solid 28 highway miles to the gallon. And it has fantastic handling and top-of-the-line safety features. And the design language is tried and true BMW 3 Series. And pretty much everybody and their mom knows that these are such great vehicles. And the BMW E90 sedan is the whole package. It's the whole enchilada. And as for the 3 Series, to get it for under 10 grand just makes me smile. Like here's a 2011 328i with just over 100,000 miles on it for under 9K on Auto Tempest. And I seriously almost bought this when I saw it. But in terms of cars that make people think that you paid a fortune for them, few things will do it like a British whip. I mean, who doesn't look like absolute royalty inside of a classy Jaguar? Putting a 2005 Jaguar S-Type in your driveway will make people think you moved out and sold your house to a prince. This car just screams Screams British opulence with those four headlights, that hood ornament, and beautiful body lines. And the interior is just as luxurious as the outside looks, including that super stylish bronze Madrona trim that is definitely classy AF. And pop the hood, and you're looking at a three liter V6 capable of putting out a respectable 235 horsepower. And unfortunately, this Model S type was only offered with a six speed automatic transmission. And to make things just a little worse, it's controlled by a sticky J gate shifter that can be seriously seriously annoying. I mean, it's bad enough that the automatic transmission even exists, but when automakers start making shifter gates that are basically labyrinths, it's almost too much for me to handle. And the Jaguar's J-Gate may be the worst of the worst. And apart from that glaring flaw, if you can get over it, the 2005 Jaguar S-Type is a great car. And here's one on Auto Tempest with under 90,000 miles on it for 9,500 bucks. And although I know you like the Jag, you're going to love this next car. It's a Lexus. I mean, what's not to like? They've consistently been ranked among the best brands in the world for their dedication to building mid-priced luxury cars that feel great to drive and will last you a lifetime. And it seems to me like Lexus built the LS430 to knock German automakers off their high horses, but without all the snootiness. The LS430 has been a hit ever since it rolled out in 1989, which is crazy to think that it's been around for that long, even though it used to be called the LS400, which have you ever heard one of those straight piped? Gosh darn, that sounds amazing. And the LS model, well, it's lived on for so long because it pretty much rivals the quality of the German sedans, but at a much lower price point. And the 2006 LS430 is still doing that because you can get one for right around 10K and it pretty much would be a missed opportunity not to get one. And with all those good features like a 278 horsepower V8, 17 inch wheels, adaptive headlights, a moonroof, auto dimming mirrors, and even a Mark Levinson premium audio system. You know, it's just baffling how Lexus prices remain so low with all those bells and whistles because it is a phenomenal car and it looks super expensive. And check this one out. It's an 06 LS430 on Auto Tempest with just over 100,000 miles for just 10,500 bucks. And so out of these eight cheap cars that look like they cost a fortune, which one is your favorite? Or did we miss one? Let us know down below in the comments. And plus hit that like button to get us to that magical number. And if you're new here, I'm Brad Danger. This is Ideal. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell and keep living the ideal lifestyle.